So some of the practical wisdom I put into the books is how to have a male best friend, how to tell good nerds from angry nerds, which is an extraordinarily important thing, how to be a woman in a male-dominated setting, and maybe I think the most important one is how to choose your life partner. And, and maybe here I betray my feminist credentials because I really think of these books as shearing away the kind of ugliness that I associate with the current vampire novels. They've got this weird rapey vibe to them, which I find totally creepy. Um, but there is, there is something about this book which is about how to choose the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. And that person, I'll just say, is modeled on my husband. Um, you know, he's the emotional center of our universe. Uh, he's the sun around which we all orbit. Uh, he is more into family life uh, than anyone, including me. Um, and he's the gentlest person you could imagine. And so, I don't know, I wrote her a hero because I want her one day to find someone like that for herself.